got 6.30 p.m. Call to, call to order the special meeting of the City Council of the City of Ransom Pass, 600 West Cleveland Boulevard, May 15, 2017. Please all rise for the invocation. Lord, we'd like to give you thanks for this beautiful day. We ask you to watch and guide everybody as they come through Ransom Pass. We ask you to bless our kids as they're growing up. We ask you to bless, bless the ones that have passed the last couple months. We ask you to uh, give people strength to heal them and whatever they're, whatever ails them. We ask you we, to do this in your name, Lord. We work hard to strive to make this community better each day. We'd like to give a special thanks to all the, all the people that ran for office. we also like to give a special thanks to all the ones that want for office because with them, it's what helps our city grow. And all in your name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This is going to bring us to item three. Three one consider and the resolution twenty seventeen eight thirteen canvassing and declaring the results of the general election held on May 6, twenty seventeen, in the city of Rance Pass for the purpose of electing a mayor, council members for place one and place three. I'm going to read the results of the for the mayor was Mr. Ram Gomez. He won 437 against myself, 422. Council member place one is Ms. Kerry Scruggs, 500 to Mr. Eric Kindivator at 343. And place three is Ms. Jan Moore at 489 against Ms. Les Braley at 362. Do I hear a motion for approval for a resolution 2017 813? I make a motion that we accept uh, resolution 2017 813. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. And as requested, we have from up here, there's no citizen comments during this meeting because we have a meeting right directly after. So please stick around for that. And, and if you have anything you would like to say, that will be the time and place to say it. We appreciate it. Fernando? All right, Mayor, thank you. Uh, before we adjourn this meeting, I wanted to uh, just, we have a, some tokens of appreciation for yourself and uh, Philip. The staff wanted to show their appreciation for all y'all done for us. Uh, we got just some cups with your names and the years of service you have for the city, and just to kind of thank you for all you've done for us. Appreciate that. Okay, that moves to item five, adjournment of the meeting. We'll make a motion, we adjourn this meeting. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. <laughs> you got 30 minutes before the next one, so I wanted to tell you.
Okay, we'd like to bring to order the meeting of the City Council where Rand just passed, and I would like to ask Vicki Brego to give us our invocation, please. Everyone rise. Please rise. Dear Father, we come before you this evening. We thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you for uh, the city of Aransas Pass. Lord, we're about to begin a new chapter in the city of Aransas Pass. We're uh, soaring in a new city council, a new mayor, and one new position in a city council seat. We pray, my Father, that you give us the guidance, that you be with our mayor, that you give him the guidance that he needs to lead the council and the city, and that we as a council come together and work together, my Father, to move the city forward. We thank you for the service that our former mayor, Adan Chapa. We ask that you bless him and his family and they continue his whatever else there is in his future. We ask that you be with us as we start our meeting. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, now we go to item number three, swearing in newly elected council members. Alan, your show.
The next action item is to uh, appoint a mayor pro tem for the ensuing year. Okay. Uh, let's conduct swearing in of the newly elected council members, which we did, and then presentation and procl proclamation. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the mayor pro tem first on 3 2. On 3 2. Okay, let's consider an act. Uh, appointing mayor pro tem for ensuing year. I know that the. Uh, I know that the. Uh, normally, it's been that the uh, at the last election, whoever gets the highest vote becomes the mayor pro tem. Now it's up. It would be Carrie Scruggs, and it's up to her if she wants to assume that. Let the current mayor pro tem continue. I think with the two years that I have under me now, I think that I feel very comfortable in uh, taking the position as Good. mayor pro tem. Well, on that note, I make a motion we appoint Mayor uh, May, uh, Carrie Scruggs mayor pro tem. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the next item we have on the agenda is an uh, appointment to boards and commissions. Uh, the next two items being with the new elections, uh, Mr. Chapa and Mr. Hyatt were both on uh, several commissions. Those commissions have to, uh, those uh, required council members to be appointed to those. For the um, MDD board, we need uh, a member of the council to participate in that one. And then for the memorial commission, we need two board members to participate. Okay, we'll, I'll, I'll take one spot. I'll take one spot. For I'll be on the Memorial Commission. Okay, so then we'll or have the MDD board. Are MDD. we only talking about the MDD board right now? Uh, the first one, we need one person for the MDD board. I'll so, do that. Okay. Do we need to make a motion for that? Yeah. We need to make a motion. I'll make a motion we appoint Mayor Ram Gomez to the Municipal Development District Board. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now we go to the Memorial Commission. Yes, sir. We need two uh, board members for that. I'll volunteer for that. I'll volunteer for that. So is there a motion? Mm -hmm. I think those are appointed, right? Yes, those are appointed by the mayor. So you, oh, you those are appointed. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. <laughs> Where are they? Appoint those two. Oh, okay. okay. Now we go to the consent, consent agenda. <clears throat> All of the following items on the consent agenda are considered to be routine by the City Council and will be enacted with one motion. There will be no separate discussion of this item unless a Council Member so requests. If this discussion is desired, that item will be removed from the consent agenda and will be considered separately. What's the favor of the Council? Well, I'll make a motion that we approve the, the minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And now we go to number seven with public hearings. Alan. Thank you, Mayor. I'm going to declare a public hearing open for the purposes of uh, taking up the telecommunications or the proposed telecommunications tower ordinance. Kat. Good evening. In, on January the 16th of this year, uh, the council voted to approve a temporary moratorium on the construction of any new telecommunications tower ordinances. That moratorium will expire on July 16th. The proposed ordinance before you is intended to regulate the application process, the construction, and the location of telecommunication towers within the city of Aransas Pass. Currently, the city's regulations are on the 2012 International Building Code with minimum zoning regulations. In this application, in this ordinance, 
It will require an application proving that the, any new telecommunications tower would meet the federal safety regulations. It also has provisions to regulate any construction within residential areas to include stealth zoning or minimal location. It also encourages co-location, meaning that we wouldn't be encouraging people to have one support structure supporting multiple antenna to, again, minimize any adverse visual impact. And uh, one of the biggest reasons why we have this ordinance is that this ordinance would require that anyone who wanted to use city property or city controlled property would have to enter into a franchise or lease agreement with the city as well as being permitted. Members of the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, members of the council have any questions or comments? Does anyone in, in the audience have any questions or comments? I Will this also have any impact on existing contracts with the city, like AT&T that has a contract right now? Not with any existing contracts. The only uh, way it would affect existing towers is they would all have to comply with the federal safety regulations. Okay. Anyone else? If not, then I declare the public hearing closed. I move that we consider and act on an ordinance of the City of Aransas Pass Code of Ordinance implementing regulations on the construction and maintenance of telecommunication towers within the City of Aransas Pass providing for a repeater clause and an effective date. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, well, here, the first item we have on the agenda for under city manager, we have three resale properties. Um, I know before that, y'all had asked that we meet the 30% rule. These don't, uh, but there's no cost to the city, and the city is not getting any money out of it. Um, we recommend approval because they put them back on the tax roll, and that's revenue for the city. Um, it has no impact on us whatsoever. The other two entities have already approved them, so we're the final stop for them. What's the favor of the council on page one? I have a, a question on this. I know in the past that we had asked to make sure that at least the, the closing of the sale yes. was covered for the bid. Is this? Yeah, we won't have any cost uh, out of the city's pocket for any of these three. Um, and like I mentioned, we're not making any money off of it because it, it, it wasn't owed to us. So. Okay. Are we doing these all at one time or each individually? Whatever the council wishes. Okay. What's the favor of the council? Two of all at one time. Are you good with that? Sure. Okay. So, I move that we consider an act to offer to purchase tax resale property, um, suit number A. Dash zero five dash three zero six two dash TX dash C lot three block four seventy four original town site city of Aransas Pass Aransas County Texas located at eight forty five North Rife. Consider an act on offer to purchase tax resale property suit number T dash eighty one dash A track sixteen lot ten and eleven block six eighteen city of Aransas Pass Aransas County Texas located on Railroad Street. Mm -hmm. Consider an act on offer to purchase tax resale property um, suite number, suit number T-81-8, track 18, lot 28 and 29, block 619, City of Aransas Pass, Aransas County, Texas, located on Pacific Street. Consider an act on closing city, oh, no, never no, mind, no, that's no, it. No, 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 <laughs> stop. <laughs> Here a second. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, the next item we have on the agenda, um, as we're working to improve our communication with within our city departments and for the city uh, to come together and work together, uh, we want to request that we uh, close city offices next Friday for half day so we can do staff development. We have some activities planned out to kind of improve our, our workmanship between the departments and communication. This is a part of uh, a series of trainings we want to do. Our next one will be on customer service, and then we're also working on some uh, 
cyber uh, security uh, training for our staff too because there's a lot of that going around right now. So we're just trying to make our city better and in order to do that, we need to work within our departments first and then uh, continue from there. Well, I make a motion that we authorize closing the city offices beginning at noon through five on May the 26th. Yes, and the PD would still be open, um, and then the on-call people will. <laughs> <laughs> and the fire department, right? Yeah, fire department and on-call staff will be available if there's any issues that come up. Okay. Uh, I second. Good. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Uh, the next item we have here, we went off for RFPs for the Pelican Cove uh, drainage improvements. We got the bids back. Uh, we received two bids, uh, one from Derrick Construction and one from JJ Divers. City staff recommends approving uh, Derrick Construction at a bid of 12500 and that would be to seal the storm drain, and then city will come in and remove the parts under the street and, and compact and pave the street. That's just at both ends of the, yes. Of the drain? Yes, sir. Well, I make, a, I make a motion that we uh, award the bid to Derrick Construction at 12500 I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I need to abstain because I live in Pelican Cove. The next item we have on the agenda is a repeat item. Uh, every year, uh, AEP tries to raise the rates. Uh, this is to uh, deny uh, the approval for them to raise the rates, so we're just us becoming part of that resolution. Um, many cities around Texas have already joined, and it's just a formality for us to get on that list. Favor of the council. Okay. I make a motion that we consider an act on resolution number 2017-814 of the City of Rancis Pass, Texas. Finding that AEP Texas Inc.'s application to amend its distribution cost recovery factors to increase distribution rates within the city should be denied. Finding the city's reasonable rate case, expenses shall be reimbursed by the company. Finding that the meeting at which the resolution is passed is open to the public as required by law, requiring notice of this resolution to the company and legal counsel. Second. I said. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I abstain since my husband works for AEP. Under updates, we have some uh, updates for you on our transfer station. Um, as you all were aware of, we had a lot of brush. Uh, as you can see by the pictures, this was uh, taken before. All this was uh, brush that was there from previous years. We got our contractor to come out and go through all this mulch, and I'm happy to say that that's what it looks like now. Oh, wow. wow. So it's gone. Yes. And if anybody wants mulch, there's free mulch at the transfer station. You're welcome to it. Oh my gosh, how long did that take? It took them less than a week to do the whole You're thing. Really? Yes. Wow. They, they, yeah. We were yeah. told it would be years. No. That's <laughs> awesome. That's, money well, well that's good. <laughs> uh, the next item I have on here. Um, Speaking of uh, on our trash, uh, as you all were aware of, we had some issues still with our previous contract. Uh, we're still in the process of cleaning it up. Um, in order to get our city to where we wanted to be and to make it look nice and clean, we want to do a citywide cleanup June 3rd. We're inviting all the public and all the council members to come out and join us. Um, we teamed up with Keep It Rance is Beautiful and with Absolute Waste. Uh, we're going to have uh, four roll-offs at our, the corner property here, Lamont in Cleveland, for residents to come uh, drop their bulky items. And then we're going to have city staff and other participants come out in trucks and trailers, and we're going to go around the city and pick up all the bulky stuff that we find on the street to clean it up, mainly because with Shrimpery coming the next weekend, we're going to have a lot of visitors from out of town, and we don't want them to get the impression that our city is trashy. So uh, we really need to get the city cleaned up, and that's is a first effort to get out there and clean it. So we invite everybody to come participate. We're going to meet at 8 o'clock here at City Hall and then distribute out around the city in, in teams, and hopefully by noon we'll be done. We're very excited. Thank you very much Thank for this, and I've already got my team and trailer. We're ready. Well, I've got my team of two. Okay. I've got my team of one. I'm going to be making a lot of phone calls. <laughs> 
Under community enrichment, we have two items uh, request. One is from the Aransas Pass Project graduation. They are requesting the use of our aquatic center between uh, midnight and 2 a.m. Uh, this is something that, hap that goes on every year during project graduation. Uh, city staff recommends approval. I make a motion to consider an act on request from AP project graduation for the use of the aquatic center, June 2nd. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The second item is also a request for the use of the pool for the uh, summer program, for youth. Uh, AP for youth. Um, staff is recommending approval at a discounted rate, uh, being that it's during uh, PM day for the pool when we're closed and we got to open and there are some overhead costs associated and being that our pool does run at a deficit right now, um, it does impact our, our, our financial status of it. So staff does recommend uh, reduce rate um, and it's the council decision on what they want to approve. And that's, I think, recommendation is three dollars. Yes, three dollars. Yes. And I know being served previously on the MDD board at how it's always the, I mean, in the past that the pool has been such a uh, trying to get it as far as to make some break even. I would, uh, I would, I would make a motion to uh, approve the. Uh, the staff recommendation of a discount rate okay. just to offset some of the costs at the pool that the city incurs every year on the pool. A oh. second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now we're uh, going to citizen comments? Yes, sir. Okay, citizen comments are intended for the matter that are, for matters that are not scheduled on the agenda. Please limit presentation to three minutes. A recording is made of meetings. Therefore, please speak into the microphone located at the podium and state your name and address. Robert Graves, 11, 648 West Johnson Avenue, which is the corner of South Saunders and Johnson. Uh, it's kind of related to this cleanup that we're going to do citywide, and it's related to the trash pickup, uh, the new one <coughs> versus the old one. Uh, in our area, we're supposed to be picked up uh, uh, brush and things like that the third week of the month been two months and has been picked up as best I can tell, at least not on our street. And I realized that was the old contractor. My question is, is there a city department that's going to monitor, actively monitor, the execution of this contract to make sure that this contractor picks up that stuff on the assigned schedule? Uh, I have relative, relatives and friends that come down here to fish. And they always ask me, why is all this stuff piled up around town? If we want to make Aransas Pass beautiful, we've got to do something about that. We've got to make sure the contractor fulfills the contract. So that's really my only question or concern. Yes, sir, we will have staff monitoring it. And if there's any times that they skip you and they don't come by, please give us a call and we'll get on them right away. And if, if any comes down to it, then we'll have city staff pick up the stuff and bill the, the contractor for it. Okay. Thank you. Well, my name is John Pierre Gonzalez. I live at 435 West Deberry, and I would just like to say this is the first meeting I've come to in a very long time where the air is positive and I can see us moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Renata Granston, 2277 Michigan Avenue, and I don't know, I couldn't hear whether you discussed it or not. I have some questions uh, regarding the pool. I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but the yearly fee has gone up 
to $175 a year. It was $75 last year. And the year with our pool is one week in May, June, July, August, and you can't wait to close it right after Labor Day. So why is there over 100% increase in the fees? I, I didn't have a 100% raise. I don't know, you may all had it, but I didn't. Uh, we're looking to Sarah, because we don't know the answer to that. I'm here, when, I, when we were going. Come up, please, Sarah. Sure. We're, we are, um, this was brought to my attention on Friday with the pricing. I knew that we, we, we revisited the pricing of those passes, but for specifically for like the water aerobics, we're, we're revisiting those rates to make them more like 80. So it would be a $5 increase is what we're okay. discussing. But we haven't even opened, we, I mean, we haven't opened to the public yet, except on the weekend. So we haven't started those programs yet. Those will start at, when, when we open full time during the week. Okay, so okay number so two, why are the teenagers cleaning the pool, the lifeguards? Last year the pool was so dirty, if you would have lost a kid, you would have never found him. Okay, well it is in the lifeguard's job description, is they, they're, they're the ones that don't do all the maintenance, but they do sweep, you know, vacuum and sweep well, the pool. You shouldn't send, be sending them down with a brush and scrub in the, the <laughs> bottom. I'll look in, uh, I definitely will. Look into that. Also, do you have a maintenance person this year that is doing the cleaning and the sanitizing of the restroom? We we have two managers that work out there. They're two co-managers, and under their job description, both of them, they do have maintenance that they will be doing. Okay, also, the lifeguards should not be mowing the lawns. They're kids. I can, I, I can understand that, but we hire them, and they do. it is part of their job description for the lifeguards that, to do that, different, That you is know, all I have during the downtime. We do have to utilize, utilize the staff we have there. Okay, thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. It needs a little looking after. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. So now we go to the executive session. Got to call the time. Uh, we, we're closing the, this meeting at 7.28 and go into executive session, and we'll be right back. Hopefully. <laughs> 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 